welcome back to the road to Act Vegas. Excited to have UTRGV men's basketball head coach Lou Hill on with us. Coach, how are you today? I'm doing well. How are you guys? I'm doing well as well. Uh, let's talk a little bit about this season and how crazy it's been. First of all, let's start off on a high note. Eight and three so far. That's the best start since 01 or 02. I guess that's the best um, time that you've had that record. What's allowed you in such a weird year to be successful? Well, I think we have a veteran team this year. Last year we were uh, we had about seven, eight new new guys. This year we have a lot of returning guys. So um, college, when you, when you're old in college, is better for you. That is so true. And you haven't been with the team for the past couple of days. How have they been practicing? Who's been taking over for you? Our coach Cran has done a wonderful job. Him and Coach Lowe have been uh, controlling practice and and and. The veterans have done a good job of help leading the practice and and they've been doing extremely well. Do you watch practice from home or do you get video feedback later? I haven't. Gotcha. And I don't want to be critical. <laughs> with the cancellations too, there were obviously the three cancellations from the past couple of weekends. And then with the program on pause, how have you found your team to stay self-motivated to continue on with this season? Well, I just, you know, it's just, uh, we just tell them it's, this is just life right now. And we, it's things we can't control. We can't worry about what we can't control. And we got to learn to handle adversity. And this year and the end of last year, every day is, could bring adversity. So if you let that beat you down, then you won't be able to flourish throughout this pandemic. So hopefully it's been helping. Have you been able to do anything for your team to help bring that team chemistry when, you know, not that many people can be in a room together? Well, I just constantly communicate with them via um, texts and, 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 and we have our Zoom meeting, you know, and just try to talk to them and just try to encourage them. But, and my coaching staff has done a wonderful job of doing the same thing. And, 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 and Converse, the guys have done a good job of responding. You mentioned some of the leaders and veteran players on your team. Who have you really seen step up in this challenging year? Well, they all have had their moments of stepping up. You know, uh, they still young men, you know. So, but Javon has stepped up. Chris has stepped up. They all have had their moments. I don't want to name them all, but each and every one of them has had moments of brilliance and great leadership. And then each and every one of them have had their moments of vulnerability, you know, and, and that's just to be expected. But when one is down, the other one lifts them up. So that's what we do. Looking ahead to Grand Canyon, hopefully we'll see that series this weekend. Osbjorn Mitgard has been a force for the Lopes. How do you go about stopping him? Uh, just making him work, make him get out of his comfort zone. Um, making him defend, making him move, but just don't let them do what they do every day. That's our approach to anything. Whatever you do every day, you shouldn't be able to do that against us. And then let's see how you function when you're not comfortable. But he's a really good player and, and having a terrific year. So we got our work cut out for us. And in these back-to-back -back games, we've been asking coaches, what's been the biggest takeaway? Obviously with WAC Vegas coming up, you have that mentality a little bit, but in the regular season, what's been your biggest takeaway? Well, we've only had one, <laughs> you know, so it's just that the first game we played, we, we, we blew Dixie out. It's just letting them know that the next day is a different day. You know, you can't, what you did yesterday is yesterday and what you do today is today. And, and I think, they're still young men and, and you could tell them all you want to, but till they get out on the court the next day and see that it's totally different team or they might be making shots that day or, you know, just different. They have to adjust themselves and figure it out them, themselves as we play. Coach, your team is first in total rebounds and first in offensive rebounds in the conference right now. What allows you to be so good in that area? We, we, we preach aggressiveness. Everything about us is aggressive. Um, not a great shooting team. So I told them, if you're not a great shooting team, you gotta be a great offensive rebounding team. So it's a lot of misses, go get them. 
Butler and then put him back ball. in and, and gets it up to the corner and or Sean Ray with another just move and get a great shot every time. He gets the finish. But our mentality is attack. So we want to attack the ball on the rim. We want to attack you offensively and defensively. Coach, best of luck this weekend against Grand Canyon. Thank you so much for hopping on with me today. Thank you very much for having me. At Blue Hill with UTRGV Men's Basketball, when we come back to the Road to Whack Vegas, we're going to talk a little bit of women's hoops. We'll be right back. <laughs>